Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet Base. This is episode 4, and I'm exactly where we left episode 3, because I just kept recording from there. Oh, snap. Another asteroid. Okay, sun's going down on our, which day is this? Fifth day. We got, looks looks like there's not much, there's a tiny bit of wind. Just a little innovative, but we do have our full power connectors, power collectors, what have you. Still waiting on three more metal, or metal for our... Let's speed things up. Four landing pads so we can finally get some new colonists in here. Food supplies are still low. Um, we're still working on this biodome. We just need one more bioplastic for that. Should be out any second. Let's go ahead and take the top off. Um, yeah, we got all these spares. I forgot exactly what spares do. Uh, there's probably a way I can tell. What's that guy doing? Oh, he's repairing it. Okay, I forgot structures like this will degrade over time. That's their current state. That was really cool. Excellent. I was going to check something. What was I going to check? I already forgot. Oh my god. People are going to yell at me. Oh yeah, spares. Okay. <laughs> spares, what are you? Spares are used to maintain solar panels and wind turbines periodically. They can be produced by the spares workshop component in the factory from metal and bioplastic. If you run out of spares, you'll eventually run out of power too, which will cause the oxygen generator to stop functioning. Okay. So spares are used to maintain uh, these things. Are they made here? No. Are they made separately in their own spare workshop? Ooh, what's this? Prioritize work in the structure. Good to know that that is possible. So this is the processing plant. So spares must be made in the factory, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So definitely do not want to run out of spares. But I mean, they just repair this thing and it's we've gone what, eight days? Or five days? And that was just now it's starting to degrade, but yeah, it should be okay. But items been built. Let's go ahead and throw in Let's use oxygenated yet. There we go. Well, let's get some more plants going. So we had lettuce, let's go ahead and do some tomato, onion. Uh, I don't like radishes or mushrooms. Let's throw another starch plant in there. Uh oh. Sun sandstorm imminent. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Even the character models. Get inside, guys. They should automatically all go inside once the sandstorm comes, I believe. That's what happened last time. Come on, buddy. You're so close. Dennis. Oh, he's an engineer. Please, please get inside, Dennis. Don't go outside, robot. What are you doing? Come on, Dennis. You can do it, buddy. Robot, go inside, stupid. Ah, he's gonna break down. Dennis, go inside. Oh, is he gonna try and fix the robot? No. No, 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 no. Okay, good boy, Dennis. No, what are you doing? They keep going outside. Okay, so I guess they don't automatically stay inside during a sandstorm. It's going to get ore. Alright. If it was me, I would just wait for it to pass, you know. Like, damn. I can't wait to build such a giant base. It's going to be so cool. Okay, getting food and water. Good. Uh, now, once, once we have some more food, should be good. Yeah. Uh, next up, we just gotta wait. So we need two more metals for our landing pad. Let's speed things up. Okay, sandstorm's done. Let's see if it damaged these. Um, oh yeah, it looks like it definitely hurt these things. Well, maybe just this one? Or maybe that's just naturally over time. Because imagine sandstorms would be really bad. Um, especially considering solar panels and whatnot. Probably produced a bunch of electricity, though. <laughs> Let's see, is there a better angle on our base right now? No, I like the angle we had. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, uh, did we repair that bot? There's the building bot. Where's the collecting bot? Because he was the one that was outside. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, he's fine. He was the one that was getting all pretty messed up. Okay, those people are getting tired. No one's stopping you from going to bed, guys. It's night time. Uh, I got two full power collectors. Wind's not going, but again, we should be good. All right, we just need one more 
metal for this landing pad. And we have an ore right here. I wonder how many ores does it take? It might just be one. One ore to make a metal? I'm not entirely sure. We can probably figure that out by clicking on this. Uh, we're turning over the metal. Ore can be reduced from metal, can be reduced from ore, the metal process play, yeah. So I'm assuming it's just one. One to one ratio. Maybe not, maybe like two to one. Either way, we should be good. Okay, they're taking ore into there. And it didn't do anything. Bull hockey. Oh yeah, go get more ore, buddy. That's so... Whoa! Hey there. Go get some more from that. Okay, once we get more colonists, we should probably figure out what, what, what exactly we want to do. Storage medical bay, laboratory. Ooh, produce medical supplies, also grow synthetic meats. That would be good for our food problem. But I kind of want to build a bar. Power storage is low. Ooh. Damn, it is. Luckily, sun's coming up, so it might be time to go ahead and build another uh, power collector. Can we build a bigger one? Yeah. Let's see, where can we put that? Oh yeah, that'll take two metal, but that's okay. And I'm wondering if that'll just directly hold double? Hmm. Doesn't say how much it holds. Sweet! Okay, hint landing permissions. The landing permission panel allows you to control what ships are allowed to land in your base. Colonists allow ships with new colonists to land and these people inside them to become part of your colony. Trader allows trading ships to land. Visitor allows ships contain visitors to land. Visitors will typically use the base's services and pay a few coins for it. Didn't know we had coins. Apparently we do. Specialization controls what kind of new colonists you'll be accepting. Okay, you can select desired total percentages. All right, oh coins, two people desire. Are the universal cryptographic currency you can use them to buy goods from traders? Okay. Mm, let's see, it's probably in here, right? Landing permissions. Oh, uh, we need a starport for visitors. Okay, so yeah, we'll just accept colonists and traders. And let's see, worker, biologist, engineer. Yeah, that all seems good. You, you can get guards. Sweet. It looks like um, Judge Dredd. <laughs> Can someone go repair this guy, please? Oh, you little bastard. He just took that away from him. Okay, they're repairing some more. But we got a few more gears. We should be good. Okay, he's busted. There we go. Good job, Dennis. Okay, I want to see when the first ship comes. I think they're really cool looking, if I remember correctly. No, hopefully they are. Come on. Come visit, colonists. Connection has been built. Oh, did they um, f build this? Oh no, not that. Oh, maybe it was this connection. So maybe now colonists will come. Okay. Don't know how long it'll take, so like what interval they'll uh, appear. Oh, here we go. Switch panel. We can do that with alt. Excellent. Okay. Wait, did we charge these up completely? Not quite. Uh oh. It's not good. And power is being reduced. Not good, guys. Okay, biologists, please get on it. You gotta repair these things. And stop using so much power, guys. We're only producing a little bit. We're producing... 8, there are 15. They're consuming 43. Oh, <gasps> look at that! Oh, let's slow that down. Well, that thing's cool looking. Expansion reached! Yes! You managed to get new colonists at your base. Fantastic. Not a not a bad looking little base, if you ask me. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see who we got. We have Jamie. She's a worker. Immediately going to the mine, not even going inside. What a badass. And Jeff C. Sims, another biologist. Good. We need another biologist. I think we previously just had one. Now we have nine colonists. Fantastic. I wonder if the trader ships will look different than the colonist ships. 
Alright, swords is only at 57% capacity, so it can get a little higher. Well, there it goes! Whee! So cool. Oh, that was very exciting, guys. Very exciting indeed. Okay. Uh, we really need to maintain our plants. They're all decent. We do have two biologists now. There's Jeff C. Sims. And... Hmm. Not sure where the other biologist went. Okay, we need way more metal, guys. Uh, can we prioritize? Yeah, let's prioritize um, metal consumption and creation. Or, or scavenging and metal creation. Because I really want to get this power collector up. I think we're about halfway through the night, yeah. And we're actually producing. Yeah, these are producing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We consume 43. This consumes 43 and produces 39. Overload. Can you overload them? But shouldn't the overload. Shouldn't the excess electricity just go to these things? Or maybe that means something else. Maybe like it was the overload was consuming too much. Look at that, you can see the reflections on the solar panels. That's so cool. Oh man, this is such a pretty game. I'm really happy with this. This is probably one of the best early access games I've played in quite some time. Definitely really liking it. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. Let's get things going. Power should be good. We're almost through the nights, and we still have, yeah. We're good. Connection built. So just need two more resources. All right, two more metals. And they're collecting ore already. And yeah, there's two, there's three people in there. Cool. Got plenty of food, though. Looking good. Plenty of starch for bioplastics. Looking good. Ooh, will this thing actually fill up? I wonder if that level in the water tile will actually change. That'd be really cool, because we do have the water extractor working. I want to see... Ooh, another ship! Another colonist ship brought us an engineer! Min P. Thompson. Thomas. Good. Engineers, good. Okay, there's a bigger solar panel. Good to know. Okay, things are starting to get degraded, so we might want to focus, because we definitely don't want to disable our solar panels and wind turbines, because then we're all going to die. And we only have three spares left. So it might be time to try and make ourselves a factory. Which should go... Yeah, let's just make it right there. Right next to the processing plant. Well, technically you got to go through the processing plant, but... Oh well. I don't think it was really necessary for us to have these two right next to each other. <laughs> Maybe one on that side. Achievement unlocked. Space farmer. Fantastic. Okay, we need two more metal resources there. Two more metal here. Metal and a bioplastic there. I wish there was a way to prioritize building like there isn't banished. Wow, that was a quick day. Jeez. Uh, these things are full at least. Okay, speed things up. Another ship, wow. Man, these guys are coming fast. Uh, another engineer, and I think it's a medic. No, oh, biologist, good. Now we have 12 colonists. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and turn off colonists. I think 12 is good for now. Don't want to overload ourselves or overbear ourselves. Okay, please take that ore, get it processed. Storage is at 83% capacity. Uh-oh. Might need to build another storage as well. Just need more metal, man. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. How professional. So I, get, I get comment notifications on my phone. I wonder if I should shout them out live in the video. We got another biologist, so why are these all being degraded? That's degrading towards plants. Ha 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 ha. 
Okay, still need more metal. Do, do, do. As long as we're doing good on food, we could actually... Yeah, we still have food. Uh, let's go ahead and scratch that. And allow colonists to rev. Because we do need more workers. Because I believe workers... Are workers the only ones that will go in mines? Or will everyone... I'm not entirely sure. There's a worker there. Power sword is low. Yep, but the sun's coming up. Please get this built, guys. Power sword is critical. That should be going up now. Consumes 44. Yeah, okay, should be good. Ooh, that's a cool looking ship. Trading ship has landed. Okay. Uh, let's slow things down. Freelance food trader. Trader stock. Trader bids. Okay, so he has vegetables, meat, meal, alcoholic drink, and coins. We have a lot of vegetables. Uh, I wish we wish he had metal. Um, nothing I really want right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and dismiss him. Sorry, buddy. Guys, I just need you to build this. I don't know how to prioritize it. I guess I could just... Yeah, let's just recycle that. Just take that metal, put it over there. Please. Oh, another colonist ship. Two more dudes. Alright, so now we got 14. I'll say if, if another one arrives with two of them, we'll call it then. We'll have them shut off. Okay, that's there. I just need a builder, bot, or an engineer to come build this, please. There you go, buddy. I'm interested to see how much power this can hold. So, oh, yeah, so it can hold 50% um, more than these because he's hold 5,000. This is 7,500. Sweet. So now we should be good on power for evenings. Okay, he's repairing. So we got that built, so let's just go ahead and do what we were doing earlier and go ahead and get the uh, factory going. Just outside the processing plants. And storage is getting really full. So we're gonna actually have them build a uh, storage as well. Where the hell was that thing? There we go. I don't need to build a big one. Mm, I don't want to have them have to walk all the way here just to store stuff. Eh, but I guess it's okay. We can always build an airlock right here, just so they can go from the mine to there. Might actually do that. It'll save a lot of time, because otherwise they're going to have to walk all the way around. Okay, got two more colonists. Okay, let's go ahead and stop them from coming now, because we got 16 people. Uh, he's repairing the bot, good. Storage is about full. So we'll get the factory built. The storage. Yeah, then we should be good. And it is nighttime, but this thing. Oh, yeah, this is still charging because we got tons of wind. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, we're about out of spares, aren't we? Mm, yeah, we have three spares, so we really got to get this uh, factory going. Absolutely do not want to run out of spares. Just need one more metal for the factory. Oh, again, I think I'm building too much at once. Damn it. Ooh, trader. Okay, he has medicinal plants, metal supplies, and coins. Mm, sorry, buddy. I want metal. I need metal and bioplastics. I'll even take ore. Kind of takes off like an osprey. Alright, well, we'll probably just let them finish this off off camera. And we'll get started in the next episode right after that. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Want to see more Blender Base in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye.